Okie dokie, gentlemen. Are we all here ready to fucking go? I asked y'all a question! As I reveal my giant monkey! That's not as funny as you thought it was, boy! God, I thought he meant penis! I swear, the only thing I hate more than weaklings... Hey! I'm speaking, soldier! Don't fucking speak unless you're a smoker, fucker, nerd, girl! What we're gonna do is we're gonna fly over the fire, fire, The talk show at the end of the week. Space is big. Star Citizen Base. It's really big. Round table. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody, to the Stars and Space Roundtable here on the Base Radio. Hi, we're here on this wonderful Hi. Sunday. Hey. And after all, it's Gamescom, Star Citizen Week, with, what? you know, live 3.0 like and presentation. And hey, what up? Hello, hello Chad. Hello. Never heard of it. You, what? Never heard of Star Citizen, me either. No, never heard of Gamescom either. I don't know what that is. You're kidding. <laughs> Maybe. R- really? <laughs> I have a green screen? No. Oh my gosh. No. He shoved it's the like... front door. What happened? My he beautiful, my beautiful new sp- place here. It's not a green screen. It's for real. I'm in... In What's the G Lock bar. The G Lock bar? Yeah. Yeah. Come visit me. If you dare. If you dare. <laughs> so, yeah. Hello. Um, there's no Eden here, but she says hi from Discord to everyone in chat and specifically to Jay Lee. Apparently, she has a thing. He's like a fucking for you. rock star or something, that guy. Or something. Or something. Jump Tao. I don't know. No, no, now Jilly said, he's like, where's Eden? But I, I'm, I bet she we're just as awesome. She was gonna, like, hang from the ceiling on some fucking ropes She's or something? She's hanging what upside the fuck down was that? from the ceiling right now. We, she said yeah, it's just weird it. shit. Yeah. I don't even know what to think. Why can't I find this stuff? Jesus. What are you trying to... The website still sucks. I'm just gonna say it. RSI's say? website still sucks. Yeah. It's so difficult to fucking navigate. It's crazy. And I've been doing it for four years. Fuck. Can never find what I only want. Only four? What are you trying to find? Uh, it's only 2017, yeah, so. Pictures. Um, what subscribers, pictures? right? Oh. Didn't they put pictures in the vault? Hey, yeah, we have there in the chat. Yeah, but he's... Oh, that's all crap. I don't want that. The vault pictures suck, Jay. Make a new picture, Jay. <laughs> Start the question, yeah, Bob. Get on that. That's what I was looking that's for. That's true. Okay, anyways. Now that Gamescom is over, he has nothing but time, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. Oh, so... I, I'm sure Oh, there we go. That's a word. So anyway, if you're here uh, listening to us or watching us on Twitch, or maybe if you're on Shoutcast, if at all possible, go hang out in the Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash radio, because we will gather questions from there, and you can uh, give us uh, you know, your thoughts on whatever we talk about. And uh, and uh, the questions will be submitted uh, by that bot that just started. You can see how it has to be done. Prefix your questions with... Question, the word question in square brackets, followed by your actual question. And we will answer it at the end of the show. The last part. Maybe. If it doesn't suck. We will try to answer. Yeah. The rules have changed. If you ask shitty questions, I'm not going to answer them anymore, so. Oh. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a dick. You should yeah. have yeah, yeah. so many questions after this shibakle that's been going on now for how many days? Five days? Four days? What do you, you mean? Want to ca- 
if you, if you can't find any questions about the last four days and ask us, uh, you shouldn't probably be asking questions. There are no unanswered questions after the Gamescom presentation, <laughs> are they? It's no. all crystal clear. Zero. Now. Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So, anyways, Gamescom. Good, bad, ugly. A little bit of everything, I think. Scary moments at Gamescom, dude. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. So good. I was like, Sophie said it the other day. She was like, oh, my heart just sank when the game crashed on them during the, the live yeah. game. Like, and oh. and I, my, I was the same way. I was like, oh, my God, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. And I don't even work for these fucking people. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, and here's the God. thing. I was, I was watching um, Astro Pub's Captain's Table yesterday. And people on that were saying, you know, I didn't care that the game crashed. I expect that. You know, it's Star Citizen. It's Alpha. It's like, well, but think about it from the point of view of someone who's never seen it. Or does hasn't isn't really following it. It's like you're not gonna sell them on Star Citizen when that shit happens. That was not the worst. I don't know if that was really bad, but it, it wasn't good. Um, yeah, but the so thing that was the funniest now. though is just are we, the are epic we on the fail. Soul block yet? Or already? We're we're gonna no. This is the Gamescom show, man. We're just Fuck, saying what everything. happened. <laughs> Shut don't the fuck be, up. There might anyway. be soul. <laughs> Um, but. The, the funniest, the, the most epic fail was, you know, at the end with the Ursa trying to go up the ramp of the oh my Idris. God. I was like, just I was face just totally so hard. Her. I saw it coming, too. I saw it coming. I saw the ramp kind of, uh, you know, intersecting with the ground. And I'm like, oh, fuck, it's going to go through it. It's going to go through it. And pff, it went right through. Like, and it fell to pieces, too. So we know mm -hmm. the damage yeah. states of the Ursa rover work. They're it functional. It works, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was... It was great, it though. Be, I mean, it, realistically, it is to be expected. I mean, every, uh, just about every live stream that we've seen from CIG had some sort of technical difficulty. But that's just because they do it, you know, live. Live. It's like, hey, here's a build. Check it out. They're just playing it's, the game right in front of you. Yeah, and it's if, it's not like we're getting a pre-rendered trailer for an hour and 45 minutes so we have to remember that's usually what the press gets when they're looking at it well even chris said you know we had some issues when we were doing this because they did the exact same thing for the press corps in germany they would bring a group of press people in and they would have them do a playthrough like that and sometimes it ran smoothly and they had different bugs they never had the hey this guy's pc crashed or whatever and then no one could do anything with the constellation that's something you guys are going to need to fucking fix yeah for real or everybody's just going to be stranded in space if the freaking ship owners pc goes down right well you noticed on the when they started the second run through even they said don't sit in the cold sit seats. seats yeah yeah, I'm yeah. Like, oh okay yeah so they may think that that was the cause of that crash or the cause of it locking up like that, anyway. Well, right. it was only the pilot that crashed out. Unfortunately. Well, they don't. Yeah. They might not have. They don't have a lot of shit in there, you know, perms and all that shit. So maybe prior to that, if they would have granted permissions for player X to be able to take control of the ship, maybe it would have been had a different result. But I don't know. It's like well, like someone. You have to remember, it's, it's very. Sad. Go ahead. I think this is Miles there. So it just showed that it was a real demo, not a fake piece of shite. And yes, we all understand that. And I think the general Star Citizen community knows that too. This is why Ga this is why Chris does this. He doesn't want to show a very well polished, uh, um, like cinematic, scripted thing. He wants to show you how it, how how it that it actually works with a real life demo or sort of a live demo. And I like like I didn't comment it afterwards. Like hopefully the general audience that that might watch this for the first time will understand that. Of course, some of them will be like, "Oh, what is this piece of crap? It's not working. It crashed in the middle of the demo. What is this?" But hopefully, like, people understand that. And it's not a reason. That is not a reason for Chris. I guess it's not a reason for any of the CIG staff to decide like, "Oh, let's do a completely scripted demo without having any crashes." 
Because well, that's next, probably going to be too know, transparent for people, and they're like, yeah, this was fake. This this alpha is extremely early in the alpha stages, therefore they don't have any spawn in with everything you just chose. A save state, all that stuff is missing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's going to be easier next time, next time around. You get further and further along, you, you get to put in some scripts that allows you to to if you do crash you know you have a script that takes you somewhere close with the same ship with the same gear that you have you know planned out to use in the demo etc what does jay lee says so, yeah, interesting so he kept the, the editor game crash up. because they kept the editor up for like an hour and the memory like, leak got bad he, you mean like the uh, facial rig editor or is that something else that he no or they probably like the had actual the, game editor the, yeah right on the same machine as the player? Huh. Well, on the same server, probably. Hard to say. I don't, no, the, I don't, I don't really know mm -hmm. how they... But, you know, Chris said something really important during the crash, you know, while they were waiting. This is why you don't. You guys don't have 3.0. Well, and Shady Face hit that in there. It shows that, you know, and it showed why 3.0 isn't ready yet, and that's absolutely accurate. So, you know... At the, at the very least, I would say at least it sets the expectation appropriately. Because if they come out with this crazy, polished, scripted, running on rails, everything looks super ultra beautiful, it's running at like freaking 60 frames, uh, then the expectation is going to be that high. And when yep. the consumer doesn't get that, then they freak out. So if it's bugged mm -hmm. as shit when you see it and you get it and it's better than what you saw, then it has exceeded your expectation. So it's a good way to handle it. I agree, though, that what you were saying, it's not a good show for people who who aren't into Star Citizen or thinking maybe they're going to get into Star Citizen. And they're like, yeah, I'll come back next year and we'll see where you're at. Right. Because we need yeah. your money. See, not we, but <laughs> the the company needs your freaking money because uh, it's it's going to take a lot of money to finish this project. Yeah, the J Lee needs a paycheck, and I need him to eat. Right, I I need him to be able to buy. We need food. more JPEGs to make art. Yes, yes, more he, art. He's he's the JPEG man. Um, but yeah, and there are still a lot of things that were evident in that demo that they need. To work on like there was some pretty jerky animation going on like, especially when the characters were walking over uneven terrain uh, the animations would kind of get glitchy a little bit um well sure even at the very beginning when they were down in the in the grand bazaar or whatever it's called that characters was stuck on that chair that mm -hmm. npc was stuck yeah, on the, oh, and yeah you, yeah and you could right. see him trying to I get saw, out i was like that's not good yeah, but they, they, you know, uh, what was it? Was it, uh, I don't remember which interview it was that was uh, asking about what the biggest holdup is for uh, 3.0 or, or Squadron 42 for that matter. And I, I think it was Chris, it might have been uh, Eric Kyron Davis that said it is AI and subsumption. So, yeah. It, and it's a big deal. When you're not going with your standard AI, you know, and you're trying to make something that looks real. It's got to be uh, a little a over it, right? a little over Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a little over complicated from the norm. So, right. and I'll be honest, what what I saw of the AI characters in Levski, I mean, obviously they wanted them to be there for the demo, but I wasn't really impressed by them. What I saw because oh. it, I'm like, it's the same. AI that's in Skyrim, basically, you know. And I, I like Stick. Stick Slim said the ramp on the Idris was the game changer. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's funny. What Chris explained about the AI is that it's not just they're not just AI that you know just stand around, do random things, and loop through that all the time. The subsumption is supposed to be able to control them in a way that they actually act like they are doing stuff and they might walk across and pick up something and then start working on something else and who knows how it's programmed but i don't 
I don't know that, but it's supposed to be a little Remember more Remember what complex. he said about you could follow it. Yeah, because look at this. He was around. specifically he was looking at this guy walking over here. I, th I guess that was part of the demo. He was oh, yeah, told yeah, to do yeah. that because this guy was walking around and then started working on this this bench here. So then they showed that and it turned around and continued. Oh, sure. And once they get all that shit fully fleshed out and you see that across thousands and thousands and thousands of NPCs across multiple worlds and stuff, then it will absolutely make the game mm -hmm. world feel not static. Yep. Feel right. I think, I think it will be impressive. Mm -hmm. You have to remember they're, they're not in the midst of how do we create this? They have created it and they're, you know, they are ironing out the bugs. How, why, you know, how, how can we rewrite it so it doesn't get stuck here? How many options can do we need to put in to make sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere? So it's, they just keep trying and trying and adding more and more complex code and algorithms where it's to not get stuck anywhere. But it takes time because they are free roaming. Mm -hmm. I really like the way Levski looks, though. It's looking Oh, yeah. The environment awesome. looks great. Yeah. Um, Volumetric Eckhart fart. looks... Yeah. You had to say that. Eckhart looks great. Um, he, he was a little... Melissa um, sp specifically looked fantastic. Melissa was the, the highlight of the show. Mm-hmm. I agree. That was great. I'm sorry to interrupt. The female character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Female facial expressions on a on a guy. That that is hilarious. That was funny shit. Yeah, but it shows that all you manginas like old man over here can uh you know play their female character and do all the God, I don't even want to know what kind of crazy shit you're gonna do now with that face stuff. Will it animate the tongue stick no. out deal? No, not that if you I've stick seen. out your tongue, it won't do that. No, just like the simple smiles. Because it, it, from what um, you could see, oh the my god! Points. From what Sean Tracy said, yeah, if what he showed, the tracking points were pretty specific. Yeah, they were. There's only mouth, nose, and eyes and eyebrows, pretty much, and and if possible, I think eye tracking as well. So uh, the your pupils, I mean. So it doesn't track tongue, but it does track mouth, nose. So how about that? That whole thing? That whole face cam, whatever the hell they're calling it, face over IP or some weird face shit. Face over IP. That, why does that sound so dirty for some reason? It does. <laughs> it has some connotation to it. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the thing that's technology like like someone is said, what the ladies were calling it in the Friday TeamSpeak night. as well. Once someone commented, like like it might not be for everyone to start doing the the role playing way of having all your facial animations being put into the game. That might just get just too specific for some people. But what is really interesting is this part the the head tracking, the way that you can look around with it, and that that might make even your awareness inside of a cockpit or in like in this flight seat are much better or in fps for 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 yeah i don't know if it might work in f well i'm just saying specifically will, in cockpits and in flight FS. seats that that is much well, it's like useful there. i was blown away when they turned on the head tracking i was like well who the fuck needs track ir now the good thing about go. this face rig is it has very high FPS, so it's running at 60 frames per second. It will, you know, right. record as fast as you need it. And it works very well in low light. And it's not a widescreen, so you, it's a, it's more a direct lens that so will uh, can be pointed directly at your face. That means you can ha probably have it at some... It doesn't have to be extremely close and can be more specifically made for... You know, place a little bit further away mm -hmm. depending yeah, on the are, right situation there are some questions and concerns that go along with all of this crap right like first of all this whole star citizen branded facial capture 
camera technology. Yeah. Is it is it actually a webcam? Can it double it's as a, a webcam? It, it, yeah. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is a webcam. So well, then, if you see, if you see, I mean, you can see that. like Roland's showing it right now. You can see mm -hmm. he's on the camera. That is the whole know? point of it. It's supposed to work with a regular camera, but if you need yeah. the high quality 60 frames per second, well, that's what I'm saying. Then about you can their, get that the one, one that they're branding. Is is that going to be really good? And is it going to be, you know. We don't know the price point yet, but I'm going to speculate since it's an RSI like the 600i at 400 and some dollars, it's probably going to be a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Is it like a crazy top quality camera that has all these features integrated into it? Well, we don't know. I, I don't I'm, know. I'm, Apparently, I'm, 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 I'm going to the specs on the whiteboard actually. Let's see. Yeah. I, I'm going to guess it's somewhere between 100 and 150, somewhere in the track area land. But here's a question too. Were you cool with them hawking this camera in the middle of the presentation? Yeah. yeah. Well, they didn't I'm, say I'm it, you were going to be able to cool buy it. it. Don't go out and buy it today, but here's what we're working on. <laughs> and I love the comment that Chris made about they're choosing their partnerships more wisely. <laughs> Since Mad Cats doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, there. Mm. Um, <laughs> this cam, or as I, whatever cam, what do you want to call it? So it's a 60 frames per second, oh wait, pauses. It's a 60 frames per second, 3.4 megapixel, like uh, the sensor is a quarter inch. No, it's a third of an inch. And well, the, the nice thing about it that did intrigue me is that it's low light sensitive. The way he said it, that, that is, it should be able to work with low light environments where people are only lit by the, by the light coming off of their screen. And I'm having problems with that uh, even right now because this is one of those cheap things. And especially with green screens, it does tend to mess up if you don't have much quality and low light. Um, and yeah, so it's 60 frames, which means pretty pretty much just means more data points, higher, and more pixels means more data points too. So it's better for the camera, for the software that is supposed to then capture the motions of your face to to detect it. The more pixels and the mm -hmm. more frames you have. Yeah, but in all reality, my 920 should be just fine. Yeah, I, I don't think if you have that sort right. of a cam, you won't need to buy this thing. Yeah, Jay Lee just said in chat, the brand CIG would sell would probably be more optimized for the game, but any high-end camera would do. So, yeah, that's that's what I was hoping, you know, I was going to call bullshit if they're like, you have to have this camera. No, yeah, no I don't stupid. think that they're going that route. I don't, I don't know why it says um, USB 3.0. That's kind of a dumb note. Oh, since we're on 3.1 now. No, I mean, like, you don't need... With this type of connection, you don't need, you high, don't need speed high speed transfers, yes. It's like, okay, 3.0, of course, yeah, but who cares? Yeah, but if you're going to tout anything, you, doubt, you tout USB 3.1 technology. They... They needed another bullet point. It makes it even with the right, yeah, yeah, with yeah. the picture. <laughs> there you go. Instead of making the font bigger, you just add another bullshit line right, in. Yeah. That's great. So and then, and then the other the the one major concern I have with all of this shit, like especially proximity um chat, is the shit that we experience in PUBG <laughs> with you know, people <laughs> saying <laughs> racist <laughs> crap and you know, they just talk s smack all the time. And <clears throat> I, I would hope, <clears throat> at least right now, the Star Citizen community seems to be a little bit more adult. I mean, some factions of the Star Citizen community are obviously pretty childish. But for the most part, the, the, everybody that we come in contact with is pretty much an, acts like an adult right. and understands, you know, how to behave in a social situation. So, but I, I'm concerned about that kind of crap and then Whoa. would you be able to mute assholes and put them on ignore and all that other right. stuff like most other mmos are you talking I don't know, so. or, the, or eventually no eventually i mean we're, we got a ways i don't to even go. know if the comms are going to be in through no it's there i don't one think of the so. 3.1 no. things yeah. i think he actually so someone asked that in the in the in the audience like is it already three yeah. out? no no that's not this part it, though yeah but um well the first thing i i assume you'll be able using spectrum or your mobi glass or whatever to mute certain people in game your macro second of all the thing with PUBG is that you can't you have no idea who anyone is yeah you don't know who it is mm. right 
That and, and an, stars and an citizen, are we? Card. Yeah. I mean, like the way it is now, are we going to be able to see people's names? If so, yeah. that helps with curbing that. Mean... And plus, if if people are getting banned, you're losing your your account's getting banned, and you're losing how much you paid at least forty five bucks for Star Citizen just to be an asshole and get banned. Okay, thanks for your money. Bye. This is actually funny though because it wasn't. It's it's been in the game for some time, but we haven't seen it for a long time either. Like the the names above people. Or is that still in? I'm actually conf I don't know anymore. They've Turn. said there will be no names above heads unless you scan people. You have to actively go out of your way to find people and their names and who they are. They, they won't blink, I am the bad guy, come and get me. You will have to scan people to see who they are and track them. ID badge. Yeah, well, I'm... I, I don't see CIG not trying to think but of some moderation solution for that problem no i don't yeah that's true yeah. but they also stated that there will be it. some so, some way to id you know your teammates as well uh the party system is definitely needs some freaking work there's no question mm -hmm. there oh yeah i mean if you if we're in this super ultra sophisticated future and let's just say you know, we have all this built-in technology into our helmets or into the huds of our ships. If it can't track your freaking friendlies, then uh, forget about it. Just forget about it. Because it ain't no good. You'll have to go back to the drawing board and redo the whole fucking thing again. Item port 3.0 coming at you. Fix that shit. Just think of PUBG and Eden Star. Friendly oh, tags Jesus are needed. Christ. Yeah, I, exactly. I wasn't going to say anything, but, you know... Jesus, right. I'm not anyway. afraid to speak. Hello, You're Jeff gonna Gray. have to have neon flashing lights. I'm a friendly. Don't shoot me. You should fucking shoot you anyway. You're gonna shoot us anyway. If if uh, friendly fire was enabled in freaking uh, Star Marine Starman. right now, she'd be the she'd be on the top yeah. of the leaderboards. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, does that mean time for right. music? Well. Maybe, unless you just want to talk for two hours. We can just talk for two hours straight. Do we want more sexy music then? Yeah. If you play, if you, if you play something that's completely erotic and Jay Lee takes off his clothes and starts dancing, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. mm. But he well, has to stream that on his stream so we can port that over to this stream so, so everybody could see it. So I wonder if he could do that. I don't know if I have something like that, though. Done. Hey, you say done. <laughs> done. Taking close. Let's make Sounds it happen. Good. Well, maybe at some point. Let's just. I, I like. I don't know what to look for <laughs> anyway. I, I don't know what to say. So let's just go to some music break. I, I don't like the thought of that. Anyway, it's too too graphic. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go to music, and then but, we'll be back. But, Fucking hell. That's not the Y back. one. The what? I thought that was going to be the Y jingle. No. You don't have that jingle? Yeah, we have it. Oh, we don't We don't even play it anymore. I think it's on the rotation, the normal rotation anyway. I mean, the... Uh... Here's the question for the chat. Sandy supports the monkeys. Do you? Do you? Have you supported the monkeys? If not, it's time. And you can do that by going to our Patreon. Oh boy. <laughs> Nothing like soliciting. <laughs> oh boy. This is all charity work, kids. All right. So nobody gets paid. If you, so. If you, hmm? Sorry. I, I was just going to say if you choose to donate to the base, then that, that's just a choice. Flint, Flint does six bucks a month hey. because Flint is a pimp. Thank you, Flint. Pim, yo. You know what? Everybody but Flint is a dick, so don't be a dick and be like Flint. <laughs> be like Flint. That's right. In like Flint? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Real deep. 
Okay. So, I heard there's some new... I don't know. Ship or something. The 900... 300... So 760... 350... 762... 42... Ship. Six, what is this? Seven, a 7.62 ship would be fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Or a 5.56 ship would be even better. 45 ACP ship. Mm-hmm. Where is that? Hello, Rico. Thank again. you for joining us. Rico! The, pu the monkey master is in the house. That's amazing. Rico! Oh, he His all life that, stuff. that he thought he had outside of the base radio is slowly dwindling away, and you see him starting to migrate more and more mm -hmm. back towards the fold, which is mm -hmm. good. This is good. I think just life is getting to him. It's getting too real. <clears throat> well, yesterday, yester was it yesterday? Was it No. Was it Friday? It was Friday during the uh, the Lightspeed Lunatic show that Rico and I were chatting. He has no life. Um, <laughs> we might be entering discussions into a, a rebranded pirate radio with Rico and Juntao. Oh. What, is, what does oh. everybody think about that? Does that sound interesting? Only if there's alcohol involved on Rico's part. I don't know. I think that's part of the reason why he Do stopped. Do you really want him... I Drunk. think that's part of the reason why he stopped doing the Friday night show so much is because it was really yeah. contributing to his alcoholism. <laughs> and uh, yeah. when you're trying to be a responsible adult, you know, with kids and dogs and mortgages and car payments and shit, alcoholism isn't necessarily the best thing for that. How come you're not hammering anymore, Rico? What's going on? Well, at the rate you have the pirate base show, um, I don't think he's going to get in risk of getting anything. Okay, now translate that into know. English. Right. Okay, never mind. Anyways, the, six, <laughs> the 600 series. Okay. Yeah. Really cool looking ship. It's sleek as shit, yeah. Oh, that's sleek. That's origin. Uh, mm. Welcome. Okay, so in in the Star Citizen community terms, I I'm considered a whale, right? Isn't that what they call them? Whales. Mm -hmm. The 10k plus guys. Oh, I don't know. I, th uh, I think that's the term, the whales or whatever. Some some you, bullshit you, you, like that. You're right? more like the killer whale. Right. Just but not my, quite up there, but still a whale. But my point is, for someone that is so uh, liberal with their finances, <laughs> right? Especially when it comes to this game. Fucking Wait, way overpriced. Now? Way overpriced. Just financially. Well, yeah. What's a well, carrot? What's, what? It's cheaper than a carrot. Dude, fuck that. It's and the it's size like, of the it's constellation. The... Yeah, yeah, but it's the cheaper carrot than a carrot. Is... It's the same role by well, like the mini exploration module that is. No, it's it's why no, 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 no. It is not going to be nearly as good as the Carrick at exploration. Well, the Carrick doesn't Carrick have 64 has missiles. hardware for that. No, it doesn't. Because does the Carrick has 64 is, missiles. It the has. Does? Yeah, it Four does. Size Did you three watch? pylons with 16 missiles each in the yeah. pod. What? Nubifier put out here. I'm gonna link it. Nubifier yeah, that's what I took. Video, this one. So, which... Let me actually. I got. I got all the uh, stats here written down. So it's. Uh, it's. It's obviously it's different because it's stylish, luxury, sleek design. But it's a constellation size ship. So what is the constellation size? Uh, sale price, or melt price, whatever you want to say. Two two fifty fifty oh, for uh, Andromeda. Right. Okay. For the yeah the Taurus three and is cheaper. What's it? But... Three and a quarter for the uh, Aquila, I think. No, okay. it's too... 70? 75? Maybe? It's less than 300. No it can't be okay. 300. But the, 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 the 600 comes... In, like We know that those two prices that were released beforehand were like two variants. But they're not kind of variants, they're, they're modules. They, they, they sell the variants as modules, yeah. but you can still swap them out I later. I just showed link two images that shows you the difference between the two modules. If you look at the first one, it's an Aurora. Okay, so the thing that concerns me about the first one is was the luxury edition, right? 
Yeah, so you see the, the pool touring, table yeah. downstairs. It has a pool table. Why does yeah, it have that, a pool table? That's where the uh, that's where the exploration version has the uh, rover. Now, that the only thing new before I got wrong is that the exploration, since it has a rover, it can take out the rover and therefore carry cargo. Why does right. it have a fucking pool table? Because it's, the, it's because it's a pool you can, table it's like a the table? Phoenix, basically. They couldn't the make the goddamn it's called basketball the game to work. Where did you see that? They're going to make the pool table game work? Probably. Bullshit. I'm calling well, we bullshit. saw air hockey. I'm calling Where bullshit. Was that? We saw air hockey. It isn't going to work either. <laughs> yes, DS. This is bridge. This Whatever is, you uh, say, whatever. DS. This is the, the, the ah, thing in the bottom. The... Rover? Yeah, yeah, that's a rover down there. Yeah. Well, that, I think yeah. that's an Ursa that they put hallway? in there. But this, it's an Ursa. This ship it's comes with an origin yeah. rover, which we haven't seen yet. No. I know, Pegasus. No. <laughs> I know. I, oh, know. The I got the too. second. Uh, you know what? If if it, I am going to have to double check because if it has 64 missiles, then it's a done deal. Forget it. Forget about it. It yeah, does. Well, and that is the okay. way. So, so, the difference we have is Hold, hold on, it just, I just want to correct something real quick, because we hamster put in chat size 3 times 64, that's not right. The mount is a size it's 3 pylon, for yeah. the missile, so the rack will be for size 2 max, is what I believe. It's not size 3 missiles times 64, if it was, that's fucking crazy. Ridiculous. <laughs> I think no, it's the... going to be size 3 missiles. I don't well, know. that would be better than really? the damn uh, it, Yeah, uh, it doesn't eclipse. have to move. It doesn't have to move. They can just send the missiles out directly. Well, the 600 sets so of it still seems fast, way though. overpowered. Because you look at those rear engines. Why? Because on the on the constellation, it's only size one or size two missiles. I'm pretty sure. But you have to remember the constellation has more capability turrets? in terms of turrets and gimbaled main weapons, while you, this one doesn't have that. You do know it has the, fixed. Um, it has 69 uh, is better pegasus all right uh, let's see what did i see that the touring requires a crew of three the exploration version requires a crew of five what uh, and the idris requires a crew of how many did they have Fif 15 or so well they only had five i think yeah three, five five where did i write that down so five the so the two extra stations are probably linked to scanning, etc. For the exploration bit. Well, isn't that the Carrick is a, a five-man? I believe. Five-man minimum. I, I think it's a five-man minimum crew. Mm. So the, I mean, the shit stat, the ship stats page it's, it's is fucked up, bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, oh, it's, yeah. Except yeah, for yeah. maybe the newer ships they add, though. Why would they... Add bullshit there. But you can't really compare it to the old stuff, that's true. I For four hundred and thirty five dollars, that's why they would add bullshit there. <laughs> the, as the carry doesn't have missile pods, right? It have uh, relies mostly on turrets, it has guns control over yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun storage. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have some sort of defense. Yeah, of course. It has uh, pro, uh, some sort of turrets and, and anti missile system on, on board. Somebody yeah. from that CIG. Somebody from CIG needs to get the fuck on this show and explain to me what automated turrets do. That's the current. And no. how they work. Didn't he explain that? The, the, that the, the one the in the rear. That, that's the same as, the, same as Just, the uh, Phoenix. It's an uh, anti missile system. No, you mean the remote turrets on the 600, right? AI turrets. Just yeah. AI turrets oh, in general. Compared to man turrets, are AI turrets AI exclusive? Are all turrets can be made AI? Can all turrets have either AI, NPC, or player character? Well, How is all this going to work? I need to know. I need to know yesterday. Well, here, here's what Some, I would somebody like. Somebody tell me. Here's what I would like you to be able to do with the turrets is, is link them to your forward-firing cursor. Okay, so when you're, you know, you have your aim aiming cursor when you're flying the ship, let me link the turrets to that too. So I can shoot the turrets forward. I can't, I can't like look too far, I can't like look behind me and do it usually, but um, at least forward you could have all the guns firing if you're flying like the Constellation. I doubt. Kind of, kind of, you, you want to be a one man tank 
with limited control. I just want to know what the limitations for control are on these turrets that they, because we never heard of AI turrets until recently, and then they said they're fixing the turrets. You know, I. It, it's really important that turrets function properly. AI We've turrets. had this discussion yeah. for like two fucking years. Or, I think, you know, remember, so, remember, Chris, Chris, Chris said already that, uh, you know, um, why he he t he talked about it. Why would you, you know, he? I don't remember if it was during the show or during the week. If that was Aaron or Chris, I'm pretty sure they talked about and sp stated specifically that a human will always outperform. Except Jeff Craig really said, bad. I thought they said yeah, AI th turrets would be one size smaller, but fully automated. That might be a compromise. All right. yeah. I, I don't know where that, that be, information uh, is at. Um, all right, I got to research that because well, the, well, it, you can't it, always have your friends with you. That's going to be one of the problems true, with Star yeah. Citizen in general. It's sometimes right. you're going to have to go out alone or you're not going to go out, right? And I'm not right. going to just sit around and wait for T.O. to wake up from his old man nap so we can go cruise, you know? It's right. not going to happen. You, can wake you, up could be, you could be in a multi-crew ship and go off in the who and he can join where, later. And, and you might log out there in the multi-crew ship, all, but you you won't know, be however able many to switch of you out, are. You won't be able to switch out the equipment right there and then. You won't be able to turn an AI turret into a man turret if all of a sudden your friends decide that they're online and they can join you on your nope. ship. Fuck nope. that. That would be way too. That's OP. bullshit. Why, That's why, 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 bullshit. Why would you? Do, why would you do that? So they, they why? Can Silo suddenly... says you could hire NPC That's... crewmates, and that's what they said specifically was you could have an NPC. That is the subs... yeah, but th th there's a difference. Yeah, but then the NPCs that. just Ma appear. And a, and a man turret versus a AI turret is two different things. The, a man turret is where the NPC occupies the space. Yeah, and man an turret. An AI an a, an AI turret is not a man turret. No. Right. Right. So you think they're physically going to make it different? They're just not going to make a computer control console that turns a man turret into an AI turret? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Because the they're just going to six hundred. Yeah, yeah, the six hundred has two large remote turrets which means remote controllable turrets which someone on the bridge or wherever else he might be sitting at a computer desk could control without actually being in the turret having to walk there so those are at one of those station. types of ships that you are most likely are going to be used to install ais on them so that they can be controlled by an ai which is not like theo said not the same as an npc controlled manned turret which can be used to Put an NPC or your friend in the turret itself, which then can fire. And then once yeah, CIG well, cracks this code, then Skynet is real and the Terminator is coming for all of us. <laughs> it's over. It's gonna Remember help what him. it was Aaron who said it um, that humans will always be better than NPCs and AI turrets. He did say that. Yeah, yeah and immediately, I think it was. Uh, the bearded man said, "Unless it's, uh, you know, one of the streamers." Yeah, my knocked. Yeah. But uh, and that makes sense, right? But the point is, is you have all these guns on your ship, and if you're going to go out solo, just because you have to go out solo, either you're, you know, some sort of psychotic introvert that doesn't like people, and you just only play the lone wolf guy, um, like Magamus, then. You're going to need AI turrets or NPC crew, right? Are, are we going to, uh, can we, you know, uh, what CIG does, we just have an inkling on, but at least for my part, I would say that the latter should be AI control turret and NPC control turrets in a man turret and then a uh, human control turret. Well, because as far as we know, the NPCs will have varying degrees of proficiency. So, in the more you so pay, humans. as humans do, true story. I will. That's why you know I the, the, it. the statement that a human will always be better is it's not pretty true. generic. It's Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He means I'll like you if you train enough, you can be way better than AI and NPC turrets. I don't. I don't think you have to be Magmus good, FPS wise, with is a turret the now? to be good with a turret. <laughs> At least amongst I us, I don't know right? if I'd be any good with the turret. 
I got my ass kicked last night in Star Marine, by the way. So. Well, that's because Silent and Drummer Dan were in there, man, and those guys are no, stupid. No, you killed good. me like five times in a row. So I, I, even... was, I was getting warmed up there. I was getting warmed up there. I was not in good form last night. No, I was I was popping yeah. Belle Isle pretty good, too. I got him a few times. Ostia, though, with his damn bunny hopping, man. Yeah. I swear to Christ. Yeah, you'll be so disappointed when... Oh, not disappointed, but... This playstyle was stamina, stamina, stamina completely takes a different when stamina hits. Yeah, there's just yeah, lots of people yeah. that would that, that right now take way too much um, uh, opportunity of that aspect, and will be completely like we have to retrain completely when that happens. Mm. So you see speak Jeff's, you see Jeff's comment right there. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> at least at least they have yeah, the same. Uh, yeah. Reliability every time, right? However bad they may be. <laughs> yeah, but I but speaking of the stamina system, um, I like what that looks like. The way they did it, I thought it was just going to be a stamina bar that you start running that? and it depletes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, the, it was, on, yeah, it was one the of the first play. things they showed on the Moby Glass. Yeah, yeah. With the uh, vital stat, vital sign up, stats, and everything. Well, you saw it when Meyer was running. No, I mean, uh, like in the presentation the, yeah. on the on the game floor in the presentation on the game floor, he was running and he was running for too long and his heart rate skyrocketed. Right. And his oxygen consumption went through the roof. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it increases how much oxygen you're using too, and. I like that because, you know, it's something you're going to have to watch. You know, you're going to have to look at your heart rate and see, oh, fuck, I'm, I need to slow down here. But it's it's interesting because they have, I mean, that's kind of just flavor. The but part on the right with the, uh, like, the atmosphere composition, that's kind of cool, you know. No, that's super cool because even even though it may have a breathable atmosphere, it may have a thin atmosphere that prevents you from exerting yourself right or you know like if you go but not a breathable atmosphere right exactly so mm -hmm. even some atmospheres on the planet surface itself might have the same oxygen content as let's say mount everest so the more you exert yourself the tired you get more tired more quickly which would be re a really cool gameplay element something that you always have to be mindful of Item ports and sizes. Chris Roberts turrets post from 2015. Is that considered recent? Relevant today? Well, I I don't know. That's like 200 years in Star Citizen <laughs> time. <laughs> the vision, I'm sure, is the same, but yeah. the implementation is always subject to change. That's the, that's the deal with this specific game. specific terminology there. It's confusing. Mm -hmm. You didn't. There wasn't a part in the Gamescom presentation thing that they were running or showing the stamina system specifically, though. Not in the Gamescom demo, no. Uh, no. But on the show floor, they they were they had to manage their uh, their energy output for sure. Yep. Groovy. What Groovy, man. The the best. Oh, do we? Is it no. Time? You can make a comment. Well, I just want to go into the best part of the whole demo. For I mean, yes, the Idris was freaking awesome. Seeing that, I was like, wow. I wasn't expecting that at all. I had no idea, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I loved driving around. So let me ask, who here spent money? Not yet. On the really? Citizen Con ticket. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Think, thinking about it. Thinking about it. On what? Seven hundred and seventy dollars, man. Six hundred series. Mm-hmm. Well, so I broke down and I spent a little money because um, I just I watched them. I you know I was watching a little bit of the streams when I could catch it, and but after seeing them, after seeing that Ursa bombing around everywhere, I was like. And I, I bought one. I was like, I gotta have an Ursa. So, I got me an Ursa. But my favorite part of the whole demo was when they were getting shot, when they got into some shit and they're getting shot at by the pirates. 
in the Ursa, they're driving around in the Ursa and the pirates are shooting at them. My favorite part was the part, it switches to the shot of the guy in the back of the Ursa with the railgun firing at the Cutlass with the railgun. Because that was, it was like a fucking action movie. I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. Wasn't there someone that said that they thought that that might have just been a trigger for the... Oh, it was cut, triggered. Cut, it was. He for the to explode. He didn't even hit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it still shows the potential. Mm-hmm. Wasn't and if you have the, the right actual, guy... Uh, like the Gamescom, the, the days before that they tried the same thing and it did succeed? I'm not sure. I remember watching Meyer try to shoot ships with the railgun and he couldn't hit the fucking broadside oh. of a barn. He missed every shot. It, it's going to take some skill. You know, it's, you're going to have to learn. I'm guessing they're not going to let you put a some kind of it's not an I, real gun. It's not it's it's not an I win weapon. Well, you don't no, need it shouldn't this, be. You, 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 if you it was, need, it would be an automatically tracking, you know. Yeah, it, real it's gun. it's a ra- it's a rail weapon. It goes straight. It, it you right. know, it might have fins on it, but you know, the, the whole thing about a rail and you, you can see the cartridge on that thing. It's it's not a massive rail that they're shooting, but it's it's still significant what is the weapon in battlefield that auto locks on helicopters and shit do you know what that is it's actually in a bunch of different games it's a shoulder mounted rocket launcher that will auto lock on uh, anything airborne i don't know specifically it's not a laws rocket i don't remember what the fuck it's called Uh, something like that we need a like a handheld missile launcher thingy yeah yeah with locking uh yeah 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 smart locking on it yeah no idea what it's called That'd be a good, stinger? yeah, the Stinger missile, exactly. And uh, no, the Javelin's a little different, right? Because the Javelin can hit shit on the ground. The Javelin goes up and then comes back down, but the Stinger is a straight shot. I think that's accurate. But it's tr- the base javelin defenses. Is, the Stinger is is also guided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Javelin can also be a straight shooter, but you, it has two modes. One where it can hit from the top and one that can hit straight up. Oh, I never saw it do anything to Javelin other than you shoot it up in the air and it freaking locks on its target and it comes straight I'm just, down. Uh, I'm just talking about the different options you have in real life. It has two different modes. So, I suggest CIG that you, you come up with something like that for ground weaponry. So, Because the ships seemed a bit OP uh, in that demo. How they have the height advantage. And they're shooting down on you, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and the way I was, that they could just—I was cringing. Hmm? Well, I found it stupid that they could just hover nose down yes. without even, you know, being in, unstable or something. I I assumed that in atmosphere the ships would act like F-16s, meaning you can't just do this and hover in midair. Yeah. Guess what? The the atmospheric flight was no different than the space flight in that yeah, demo. No, I'm yeah, I'm more than so. certain. They they don't have an actual atmospheric flight, you know, system yet. Um, but I was cringing when they were just they were staying on the shot of the buccaneer shooting the constellation, and then he just stops shooting and like pretends to kind of shoot like just around it before it explodes. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, they needed to coordinate that a little better, but the QA. <laughs> nah, it just shows the potential for gameplay. It doesn't sure. show the actual gameplay, so still was a real build. <laughs> but it would be cool. I ag- I agree with you, Mog, that sitting on the the ramp of the the Ursa while you're trying to evade and trying to take pot shots at aircraft that are chasing you or spacecraft that are chasing you it'd be a pretty epic moment yeah man. even if, even if you died it would be fucking fun oh fun. yeah it, it imagine I mean, just being, it's hmm? imagine being two people Rambo. on their open bike what's it called the uh, the first one that came out dragonfly the Nox, dragonfly and with a shoulder mount weapon on that thing you know yeah. a railgun yeah that would that would be interesting no, that's going to be difficult Ramps. because, <laughs> well, it depends on the stability and the terrain that you're. You going just tell over. the driver, "Don't turn, a- engaging, right?" And then, yeah. once you're done firing, you know, you you know, wait. But I mean, well, like, it's going to require a new level of teamwork for sure. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. but that just that to me looked so good. Just with with the back ramp door open the 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 fucking dust being kicked up by the tires while either you're just on uh, high speed running away in this huge awesome looking new cutlass by you're the thinking, way we um, talked about how good the new fucking cutlass looks cuz it's amazing um yeah i just i love that it was so good they went away from on the cutlass let's stick on that one for a little bit second they went away from the all round to a proper cargo ship with guns on it. They went away mm-hmm. from the you know the be all pirate ship to being a well we we caught something now we need to transport it. And you have big openings yeah. to take in your your quarry. Yeah, well no, it still seems like a multi-role ship to me, multi-purpose because it's either cargo or um it's a drop ship, you know. I, I it's, it's, like it a, it's like a, it's like it's it's like a smaller Connie. Yeah, basically. but it, it's not a it's it's not a fighter anymore. It's not a be all. No, ship, it's not it? a fighter. No, it's not it a was fighter. never a fucking fighter. No, which is still a well, it, fucking it wasn't the point worst. of drama. Yeah, it wasn't the worst. Um, you know when it first came out, but yeah, it no. Well, be. just to remember the way that they build it, the nimble and all this other bullshit that they use to to describe that ship, and it never was. It's too fucking big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it definitely is now, for sure. It's bigger now. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Should we go to a music break? Yeah. Okay. After well, music like break, bigger. do we have salt? Yeah, I could find. I don't salt. think so. I don't. Dude, just like, oh. like I think you guys already spent your salt, so. No, I found salt buff from others, so that's going to be fun. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll talk <laughs> about oh. what you want to talk about then. No, not my bitch, stuff. Bitch, bitch about the bitches. Best. Like I said, we'll, we'll just see. Uh, we'll be right back. Oop, wrong Oop. scene. Oops, wrong scene. Nice. There we go. <laughs> we're back. Oh, there's a... Uh, we're back here on the round table. Here you go. With our third block. How you like me being all up in your face and shit? I forgot to mention, yeah. Like, all uh, up in our shit. You can, you can ask questions. Questions in brackets. I forgot to mention that a couple of times, but yeah, I think you know the drill if you're here. But if you don't, that's how that works. You can um, request, uh, you can not request, you can submit questions. Square bracket, the word question in the middle, followed by the question, the actual question. Uh... Uh, what else? No, nothing Meh. else. We're in the third block. And it's just, it's always funny. After an event like this, there's always people that, uh, like, there, there's, there's, there's opinions. Right? You know what they say about opinions? Legitimate opinions or haters? I don't know. I don't really care either way if they're, it sounds. Opinions is like assholes. Everybody got one, and they all stink. <laughs> True story. You heard it here. Mm-hmm. So I think in the uh, I'm not sure yep. the schedule was actually updated already, but they noticed that the uh, the release date 3.0 or release date the the possible being finished date was moved to 9th of October. Is that Eva Cotti or... No, the meaning life being finished. Ah, bullshit. Probably still... I'm calling bullshit. ...optimistic, but we know... Fuck no, it's still got to go through Eva Cotti and they're going to break the fuck out of that build. They, 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 It does, yeah, but that's still a full month away, more than a month. It's already like September. It isn't September yet, today, yeah. but it, it it's already September. So September and one week of October. Right if there. they got Eva Cotti in on yeah. Monday, then maybe. Are they not going to do the full Eva Cotti, PTU wave A through triple Z and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is a big fucking yeah. deal. People don't fucking get it, right? 3.0 changes everything about the fucking game. It really yeah. does. And there was one and guy in the Spectrum forums that actually, uh, I think he was like wondering or probably even like advising them to like, like don't do Evocati phase. Why Why are we doing Evocati phase? Is it necessary with 3.0? 
Uh, because if they don't, what? they'll fucking melt. Of course, yeah. They yeah. Even more thing. than it used to be. Yeah. Here's the thing. Once it goes to PTU, and I don't know how quickly they're going to roll out PTU waves, but once it goes to, you know, third wave ish to full PTU, shit is going to break. Once there are a shit ton of people. PTU. Because I once think... once you. Once you have a, a large amount of players, shit starts breaking because of, frankly, yeah, that's, because that's, of the lag and the networking. That and all is of that. probably exactly the only reason why PTU, what they do. I think in the last patch, it kind of went like the same thing. Ivacati was fairly long, and then PTU was relatively short in waves, because I think PTU is probably more like a, like a, a get ready for life roll out so they it's slowly more, increase the numbers test. so that they can test it's, a yeah. so it's, test, it's yeah. only it's more increasing like a the numbers you know there are some there's not everybody is bad and not everybody's good but i get the impression that a lot of the avocados are even more special snowflake and even more whiners well than that's usual. what i said if they don't get it they're gonna <laughs> fucking melt dude and they're gonna sh shred the game so yeah. just just even if it's for two days. And the guys at the game come boot got to play it and we didn't. Uh. I know, right, and we didn't yes, exactly. <laughs> so Etrick's funny, man. He says three point oh is going to make two point oh look like one point oh. Get it? Mm. It's true. It is absolutely true. In point oh eight we had so much limited shit and one dot oh didn't really do too much, but two point oh introduced the PU, which was a big deal, you know? Yeah. And now 3.0 is taking the, the persistent universe to the next level with all new item systems and container systems and freaking hopefully net code systems. Overhauled. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be it, it's going to be broke as fuck. There's no question. And anybody you know that doesn't expect it to be is is yeah. setting their expectations completely in the wrong direction. I I know a lot of people expect, you know, there's a legitimate thought in that once they've dropped 2.0, they never ever, other than just slightly bump it up, they never did proper fixes on it. So a lot of people are scared they're going to do the same to 3.0, but the, here's the, the difference between 2.0 and 3.0. 2.0 was just for us to have something to do while they were working <laughs> on their private builds. 3.0 is actually going to be a working alpha for them to test out stuff on. They're now going right. to be able to push their builds really fast and on because you know the delta pressure is will be ready for it etc so they, they fucking they better can be use they can well he said it will already they've been using i don't it give internally. a fuck what they said they <laughs> fucking better be <laughs> I know. they better be but How about this one? here's he, here's the thing you have to remember everyone has to remember we're talking about when they released evo Cotty, when they released the evo uh, PTU and when they have the live release version of 3.0 but guess what it's the release version of an alpha, of an alpha build of a game what you what? you you what every one of you fuckers who gave money to this game you did not Are buy paying. a product you did not buy anything you donated you for gave it. away your money on a promise of we're gonna make this game you are All right, a that's fucking it. alpha this tester. Is bullshit. You should, you should, Everyone is. Fuck, this is bullshit. Get no, that guy I that was on TeamSpeak yesterday. For. You should have oh, yeah. got him in here. <laughs> like, tell him that you're playing an alpha game. My god, what? that was crazy. You, every, that's, that's, everyone that's here, typical. everyone in chat, everyone who loads up this game and goes into it, you are an alpha tester of a what game you know? that isn't even a real game yet. You're testing and, a piece of yeah. software. This isn't what That's I bought. What you this have isn't to the remember. game that I paid for. It's not the game that I paid for. This All right, how, how about this one? The 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 fact you that there was no, idea no female character. I know. I was so bummed out. <laughs> it was like they just <laughs> Melissa had this funny joke, but I, we I know why it was. That we, I, I really enjoyed their take on it with the female voice on the yeah. uh, black dude. It was a funny way of just that, like like we couldn't get female characters to get work with this yet so probably not as far we show how the I mean, game is going to be with voices all over that doesn't match the match the characters 
can yeah. can magpie be salty and bring up old salt you can do whatever you want you know mm -hmm. as long as you're not abusive that's fine but uh i get it no no female character yet because it's a waste of work and they've wasted enough work to this point where they they've redone everything many times so i don't know who was saying it i think eric kyvin davis was saying it in his interview the f the male model isn't complete yet the male rig doesn't have all its uh hooks rigged to it yet so why would they yeah but but what but why why because is... they're fucking slow they're smoking weed well i, think, I mean um... they have an animation team it's been <sighs> what the fuck i just don't yeah, yeah, yeah i don't understand why so this the, specifically the is taking team. years to do you, know, you have to remember, have, I, the, the animation team is only part of the team that's there to set a poo character together. I have a question then, right? And it's based off of what Mog says. And this is pretty trolly, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> 400 employees, my ass. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay, fucking troll hunter. <laughs> no, he's just getting the, the chat to chat. <laughs> 400 people fucking sitting around smoking weed. Eating pizza, having a good time, I think not building was, um, the game of our dreams. Um, God on damn it! speed as well. I think, um, like the, you know, like if you watch the what's it called face uh, wear uh, video, uh, reveal on announcement thing, he actually talks about the different types of character face things that what they have. What the fuck was that? What? Like in different classes, <laughs> meaning that the 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 Squadron Forty Two main character characters, those are high quality, high poly, high wrinkle maps. That blah blah blah. Or kind of you can like class them as very very high quality. And then there's the player characters that you're supposed to be playing with that are a little bit lower quality. And then there's probably also NPC characters in shops and stuff like that that are probably even a level lower. Or who knows where they are? They're different levels. And you did see a female character in the in the in the demo actually. Uh, there was um, several, I think, like just some NPCs. some random NPCs behind the desk. That woman in the shop that was talking to the to the with the weapons. Yeah, but they're easy to do because they don't need to have the same rig uh, as no, the male model do a with the things, movements yeah. and the animations and all that shit. They could just stand they're there basic, and just yeah. uh, whatever, you know. But what what the hell was this garbage dick? What is the, what kind of name is that? First off, who the fuck does that? I mean, you come in here, you, you're Pretty just garbage. bouncing, you're just bouncing around to Star Citizen freaking. Junta, uh, Junta is feeling streams. triggered. What the? F uh, he's feeling biscuit, it, it, well, He's he's absolutely, <laughs> but he's he's accurate. He doesn't understand that he's accurate, and he thinks he's being a dick bag by being accurate. The game is fucked by and i think it's supposed to be by, by. not be endless iteration, iteration which is absolutely true which isn't a bad freaking thing you know that's no, usually how not. this is usually how games are built it's just that we don't they don't show it to the public you wish there was iteration. So they don't have, right and there is you would still be working with that old crap 3.0 is a whole new iteration that's why they didn't bother to keep working on the 2.0.6. point whatever branch because it didn't fucking matter anymore. They had a whole new. Yeah, my my point, garbage dick, is this: <laughs> if it wasn't stuck in endless iteration, it would be line of defense. Pretty much, <laughs> it would be complete garbage. So, if you're not willing to take it to the next level and chase a better idea, then you're stuck with the same old shit. Because you know what you're going to get when you get Call of Duty World War II or whatever the fuck it is? You're going to get Black Ops with a reskin. That's what you're going to get. Yeah. You're not. Jilly, nobody's pushing the boundaries. Zilli yeah. uh, said something. Female char characters are not done because we have four or five K male animations. Or a 5K. See, we understand this. Then we have to translate over to the female mm -hmm. rig. Okay. I'm just, yeah. I'm just being a troll just to be a troll. But and you know, Jay Lee is not the person that's going to be doing the translation from no. one rig to another. What well, is that line motherfucker of defense? needs to get some skills. He needs to get his skills in order because this whole I draw pretty pictures thing is getting friggin' old. Uh. I mean, seriously, educate yourself, Jay. Seriously, learn how <laughs> oh, to animate. Damn. Hey, Damn. You're Jeez. you're pretty good with printers, Genta, right? <laughs> that's, that's all I'm good with. 
And imagine somebody comes in and says, well, why the fuck can't you install our Linux server? Oh, I could. <laughs> I could. <laughs> if you give me I enough absolutely time. Could. I should take the camera upstairs and show all the woodworking <laughs> me and my oldest kid got done today. All the baseboard moldings are all done. They're all oak. They look freaking beautiful. How the, get, all the, did we all get the from Linux servers to oak? Well, because I have multiple skills at multiple levels. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying, Jay Lee. You can't limit yourself just by drawing fucking pretty JPEGs, man. You gotta like diversify. You know, I I understand diversify that you're like all skills, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it can't just be draw pretty pictures and be hung like a horse. That isn't. I, I hope I hope you don't draw in JPEGs, by the way. There was a comment. I, I am. <laughs> English. We got some English. Uh, Jeebus. Okay, so <clears throat> let's let's read this real quick. Can I read this real quick? Yeah, whatever. Some cat. I'm not going to mention his name. I don't know. I, I really feel like this. This is his statement, not mine. I'm quoting. Quote, I really feel like this. The game, Gamescom presentation is pretty much pointless to me at this point. There was nothing in today's presentation that could not have been showed in an extended ATV episode. Even presented better, in my opinion, i.e. they would have edited and made it look better, for sure. The live acting was just cringy and overall a really bad idea. And I can't disagree with the live acting part, but you're talking about fucking QA testers. You're not talking about people who right. professionally sit there They're and role play. They're not professional voice actors. Yeah, right. so and I mean, think cut them some slack. Better there. than uh, nor than you would normally do if that was those were actual players that we really. Yeah. It was stupid. cute. It was yeah. It was cute. It was nothing more than cute. They were trying to be funny and no playing, and it was cute. It wasn't great, you know. But they're QA testers. They find I bugs. Thought, they don't I thought frickin'... Melissa was all right. Just going to say. She, she, she was. was she was trolling that Gary guy or Glenn or whatever his name Glenn, was. paying attention yeah. to me. She trolled the shit out of him. Yeah. yeah. That was great. Are you even listening? Yeah. That was funny stuff. I like Well, that's because Glenn was Have you ever played with Eden Star and he could hear with Mog? And Junto, and he listen to those three bitch and moan and complain about all the bitches and they play against their life. All of that happens in the same space when you're playing with them. That's what they did. True they just story. take it in and they they banter with each other. That's how it's going to be. It, it wasn't acting. It was them just trying to up themselves a little bit and do it live. Is anybody actually going to role play or are we going to be at like more strategic and use military style communication tactics and shit like that? I like role playing a slight bit. But not that I, deep I think there's a difference between you use military terms for simplicity so orders get through quickly and you use terms that is understandable Better and they, flowing, you yeah. can use when you, you when you teach when you teach some, somebody something new but you skip the yes sir and no sir and all that bullshit you know t that's taking role play too far that's why if you want that stuff you should go to a role play server or to a role play community in this game well role playing as in not not just you know the military speak when you're like in a situation where you need to use that it's like when you walk into the bar in Levski, are you going to sit down and like talk to other people that are there as your character not that's as role yourself playing. if yeah, me and Rico are saying. sitting at a bar who falls out of the stool first <laughs> Rico <laughs> alright that's Laughing. role playing <laughs> Right. And what was this last this last thing here? Because the time, well, I, there's not a whole lot of questions, so I guess we have plenty of time. So you oh, guys sure. are, yeah. you guys are so busy chatting that you don't have any interesting questions to ask at this point. Which, uh, but uh, somebody says, "quote I mean," which is the great way to start a sentence i mean it's been a, a year and we still haven't seen anything from the coming features like careers the quote-unquote mining for example um that, that was actually yeah. i i p picked that one because he actually does have a point and the fact that i thought about it too is like <clears throat> like um some of these ships 
and it would probably be very interesting for the T and I guys in our that because they haven't really have a, have any they they don't really have any fluff haven't haven't had any fluff really to 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 go on because we know that that would that that that, that is coming in 3.1 3.2 or something like mining and cargo hauling and ca other careers like mining well, cargo and, uh, hauling is ca coming in 3.0 yeah, well, we, well, we've seen basic, the mechanics basic, of that, so basic, that's, yeah. we know more, most about that, but the, the, but the, the economy why? for once, like the, the whole uh, the sale and selling and buying and, and, and manufacturing is pretty much very grey still. And maybe that's, that was, he has a point and it's possible that they, that might be something that's coming on CitizenCon, like maybe even further down the line, more, more, more career explanations stuff like that that would be actually be something that i would be really happy about seeing as well a lot of it isn't That's flushed out yet they've talked about their vision a lot so we have their vision we don't need their visions yeah and then it went silent pretty again much. but we what we now need is we flush this out so this is now how we know it's going to be and what the economy we see now in 3.0 is the beginning of them starting to flesh fleshing that out and see what works and doesn't work and they're going to increase that by adding in ships and then mining and so forth in the in three axes the open market yeah well, well see so nobody seems to understand how things get built and and i understand that not a whole lot of people are in the construction trades you know but I've built a couple houses in my time, you know, I'm, I'm not really as young as I look, uh, so I've, I've done some things. And if you don't have a solid foundation to build off of, everything else collapses. We've, I've said this a dozen times before on this show, you know, and that's what they're doing is they're building the foundation. You can see it. They're building the tools that are going to support the rest of the gameplay, you know. Uh, I, I don't know how else you could look at it. Uh, it's been so long. It's been since 2012 when they announced that they were going to start thinking about trying to crowdfund this game. Oh, okay. So that's 2012. In 2013, they started building the company, right? Mm -hmm. and, and they've been expanding the company and expanding their tool set and expanding the people Rebooking. that have the skills in order to do these things, you know? So, and then they hire new people that come along and say, you know, that's great what you've done here, but here's a better way to do it. It's more efficient. It's going to allow you to do the things that you want. You're going to have to rework this, that, and the other. You're going to have to move some shit around in order to get the game to actually function the way you want it to in a multiplayer environment. And they go, oh, fuck, you're right. Okay. Well, if that's the better way to do it, then we got to do it the better way. So they do it the better way. But you know what? That takes fucking time. You know, and let and and I don't know how many times I can see the goddamn meme or chart or whatever about game development times. Does anybody have an idea off the top of their head how long it took to build Skyrim? Seven. Twelve. Uh, uh, okay. Twelve years. Twelve years. Well, act act the active development was seven years, wasn't it? <clears throat> But the planning yeah, stages so the, and like preparation the, was a right, lot right, of years right. Prior. They were already yeah. the so, company existing, and they had. Yeah, so they had they had the studios, they had the manpower with multiple they had the games infrastructure. Yeah, so they they. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure engine, that Star Wars: really The Old work. Republic came in at about seven years. Star Wars: The Old Republic, which mm -hmm. was nothing spectacular, it was good. It was good. It was okay. They had a lot of voice acting, you know. Yeah. But it wasn't a lot of performance. It wasn't yeah. great, but it was limited. It was extremely limited. You know, and, and compared to what Star Citizen is trying to achieve, that your seamless planet to space to planet to space to planet to space to go wherever you want in this seamless freaking crazy ass universe. So seven years. Okay, so let's do the math. 2012, they started talking about crowdfunding this game. Actually, I think they launched their Kickstarter at the very end of 2012, right? October. That's yeah, what CitizenCon is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're coming up on five years. So if anybody thinks that the game is going to take any less than 10 Four years. Or five years extra after this. You know, then you, you obviously don't understand reality. You, yeah. should have never, you should have never put your money into the game if you weren't willing to wait that long. 
Yeah. For the full... I mean, and what is the full game at this point? Well, what that's is funny. That? That's funny, because Chris said during the, the uh, GameStar interview that he feels that the minute that he stops iterating and adding content to the Star Citizen project, it will die. Like every other MMO mm -hmm. that dies because they stop updating it. Now, you can argue, okay, well, we don't have really good playable content yet and that is accurate but that is because they're building the fucking foundation to give you good content now whether or not that foundation is actually going to be good i don't know i'm not there i'm not holding anybody's hand saying you know and they wouldn't listen to me anyway if i was uh but anyway whatever it is what it is you I'm, understand I'm gonna, my point. i'm gonna make a prediction here which is oh. completely blind, but it's a prediction anyway. 24. It's not, it's uh, Citizen Con 2019. Uh, they're probably going to announce, we're going to be in beta, and they're going to announce that the last wipe has happened or is going to happen. I kind of agree with uh, P. Gillings that 2020. We've been saying 2020 for a little while now. For the yeah. for, for the, the gold per, for persistent universe live launch gold. with it the, with their minimum First, viable product of ten five right. to ten stars. Five systems. to ten, right? That's Complete. what I was going to say. Right. Okay. First, and the are game talking gold. I, I, are you talking beta yeah. or gold? No, live. Live. One hundred percent live. Yeah, out of beta. The okay, game isn't so, going to need to be in beta for a year. It isn't going to need yep. to be in beta for a year. Remember what they said. They will l launch the game in beta. They will go live with the last wipe in beta. That's their intention. Hmm. So that's why I'm predicting that that will happen before everything is flushed out. That we have X amount of system that is ready to go. And that we, right. it will stay in beta until 2020 somewhere. And then we'll go gold in 2020. That's my prediction. But I think Citizen Con 2019 is when we, around there, will go live in the beta phase. Where it's no more wipes. Whatever you do is persistent. And, you know, whatever money you make, you will keep as the game goes gold. I wonder if Harold is on to something there. 42... <laughs> Is the answer to to everything? So that solves thing. the mysteries. So 2042. <laughs> Can we all hold on that long? Because we'll go back to uh, uh well, I guess we'll 40, 42 months. We'll just ask this question right now, since we are technically in the time frame of the question block. When and garbage dick asks, what is the last straw as far as progress being made with this company that makes you throw in the towel? In other words, how much more lip service are you willing to put up with? Now, if it was all talk and I didn't see things being done in the background, then I could see where you're coming from. But they show you stuff that they're doing in the background, and it's pretty amazing technology. Nobody else is using the technology that they're using because they built it. So it doesn't mean it's going to be right. good. It really doesn't. It doesn't mean Star Citizen's going to be a great game. Will it be a We're finished game? Yes. Yes. But the question and it will not, is... It will not suck, but it might do, not be the greatest ever. Do you, you have a X4, point though? in your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. The, the question is, will it ever get to a point where you're just like, oh man, fuck this. Doesn't all game comes to that point at some point stage? 20, 2042. Some people have already <laughs> gone to that point yesterday, I believe. 2042, I will probably no longer be alive, and that will be the point where I say, fuck this. Because you know what's funny is people think, you know, oh, you stars, you citizens, whatever you want to call us, you're like just sitting around doing nothing, waiting for Star Citizen to, to become a thing for you because your life has no meaning and is completely empty without uh, this fantasy vaporware game that's really not going to be developed, <laughs> which is absolutely not the case. So, we do I, other gonna, stuff. Uh, we do we do a lot of other stuff. So, and we do it. You know what is really cool is we do it as a community. We do it as friends. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we shout shit, talk to each other while playing the game. Just true story. So I thought that there there's a good answer. I think twenty forty two. 
If the game isn't out by 2042, I'll say it's never coming out. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> What, we can you just, just want to you want to roll into questions. You can just face into the question blog. coming yeah. twenty forty two. We can just face into the question blog with a quick uh, jingle to cut it off, and then we'll. Come back. You are listening to the base Star Citizens premiere online radio station. Yeah. Yeah. You are listening to the base only on the base. <laughs> That marks the beginning of yeah, the question it block. It's the, be, it's the beginning of the end, right there. All right, I'll I'll do it. Uh, or does somebody else want to do it this time? Since I did it last time, except did for you? the Norwegian, because we can't understand what the fuck he's saying. Wait, oh, no, you, you, you know what? As a matter of fact, you read them. Me? Okay. Yeah. No, the okay, Norwegian. Yeah. Let's let the Norwegian. I'll, since read he them. fucking muted us last week, I know, he right? gets to read them this week. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I, gotta, I, I, I didn't even set up my voice changer for this show because I knew it was going to freaking yeah. set the shit on no, fire. Yeah. He's, you will talk about triggered. There you go. Right. That was triggered. Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. They got that lined up that right there, huh? That's nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Flint Dragon says, How many folks decided to get a 600 eye? Gentile? No. I. You know, I decided that via the conversation that we had in the first block that, yes, I'm, I'm gonna. I didn't, but I'm gonna. I'm seriously thinking about which ships to melt to get it. Nah, they need an influx. 770 bucks is nothing. I'm a pensioner. Mark? That's true. I will be happy to earn myself one in-game. Same. I do. I think I will like it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, oh, God. It's fine. Here's It'll the thing. Fine. I don't, I'm not usually like, I don't like, I usually don't like that kind of, I don't know. I'll have to see it when it's in game, right? I'm sure it's going to look really nice. I don't usually like that style of ship too much, that super just clean, sleek, future kind of thing. But like, I don't like the Revel in York Hangar. I hate it. I, I like the, it's too the shitty. It's too yeah, I like the shitty clean. self land hanger and the asteroid hanger. I love those. Um, I think it'll be really nice though, and I'll be, I will be happy to earn one in game when, you know, that's possible. And I think Confuse is absolutely right when he says super sexy and overpriced. I said that earlier. I th yeah. I think the four hundred dollar tag on it is kind of a little over the top. So I'm. Yeah, it's a luxury. It's sure. bigger than a phoenix in width and the same length, so for what it can do, I'm fine with it having that price tag. The only thing that I would seriously think would make it better if it had the access to, um, even on the luxury version, maybe have a Nox on board or stuff, stuff like that, anything like that, you know, so that you actually have a vehicle oh, yeah. on board. Maybe, well, yeah, you you, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's basically something luxury that you can you can land and and then Excellent. travel out of the ship. You can well, it definitely you can put a rover in it. We've seen that. It, that's in one of the concept images. So you that's could the ex definitely put. That's the exploration version. Yeah. Well, what the other one doesn't have the cargo nope. ramp at nope. all. Oh, it okay. probably oh, does oh. have a cargo ramp, but it doesn't have the it's uh, the space is occupied with other shit. You know, it has okay. a uh, lounge downstairs instead of cargo. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, but right. We don't so, know how much okay. of that is modular. They said right. there was armed variants, but modules you can swap out. But what is swappable? Right. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We don't know. And I'm, and Magpie says, size doesn't mean everything. What matters is what you can do with it. And that's absolutely true in all aspects said. of that statement. <laughs> it is absolutely true in all regards. But... Here's the thing. So for the exploration one, then that has the ramp, the cargo ramp, you can put an Ursa there, or potentially two, maybe two Noxes or dragonflies uh, or whatever you got, and a rover, and a rover. No, the rover is the vehicle that's delivered with the exploration version. I know. I'm saying you could have a rover there, or maybe two Noxes in place of the rover. Maybe a Nox and some cargo. Or no vehicle and a or, lot of cargo. Or that. Or... I don't... Yeah, it's probably too big, actually. 
Yeah, you probably couldn't put a sh one of the snub fighters in there. No. Well, Fallout work. says it says exploration module on the page, so he thinks it's swappable. So if that's the case, then that's what he said. Then that yeah. was uh, yeah. I don't I don't know for sure. I, I don't think any of us know 100 percent for sure. They haven't done the Q and A on it yet, which I'm sure is going to be posted here in the near future if it isn't already up. Well, everything so it's far not. that's module that has a module on it that's it has been swappable. You know, when you have multiple modules, you can, you know, take the, uh, ah, my brain just melted. The long range fighter, heavy fighter. The Vanguard? The Harp Vanguard has multiple interchangeable modules. Mm -hmm. The same thing, yeah, so same thing the with the ret ret yeah, Retaliator, interchangeable. So you, you can't do it in space. You have to go to a station and get it done, serviced, to mm -hmm. interchange them, but it's still possible let's skip to the next question okie dokie from YouTube. gaming with michael will you guys be doing a show after game launch kind of like a news channel with what's going on in the worst yes considering i'm still alive when this game launches <laughs> i will consider it mm -hmm. you know what's f funny i actually thought of that when um what was it that the whole renegade squadron drama happened and i was like hey well i know this is like this is only org drama but you know what if something like this happens in the verse after it's live and, a, and an orc has problems or collapses or goes bankrupt because of someone something or some sort yeah. of weird thing happens internally where people uh you know betray each other that just totally could be something, something that you could cover it's not it's not and, and I role play. at that point it wouldn't be as drama in, anymore. In, in, just... in role play. Yeah. In role play as a news station. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to be specifically an area. exclusively role play. That would be kind of dumb, but No no no. No no but you know you can you can read it as a newscaster yeah. in the verse. And that would what, be kind of role playing and newscaster, right? That what just you have to announce it what happened. Yeah, but what you have to keep in mind about the base radio is the base radio is live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There are currently uh, time slots open for people who want to do whatever, you know, um, postcards from the event horizon is completely role playing. It's a little over the top. It's kind of crazy. It, it doesn't necessarily follow the star citizen, kind of over you know, the top, but you know, it's still there and they're doing their thing. And we have DJs that spin live music. We have, you know, uh, the quantum drive show. We have people who are actually doing live mixing and all kinds of weird shit. So talk shows, bit shows, girl shows, <laughs> all kinds of shit. So I would assume that uh, uh, if Rico decides that he's going to keep this motherfucker running, then these time slots will start filling up with people who want to do that kind of stuff. You're in a Mako. We have the ability to stream video live from a game into... Uh, this feed mm -hmm. so we're also broadcasting on shoutcast so you don't have to watch the video you could just listen to the audio um hopefully they'll integrate some sort of like a uh, euro truck simulator does that they have a uh, integrated Outcast shoutcast database, yeah. player yeah yeah so and you could listen to the bass while you're space trucking or whatever so we'll see Peep shows, Magpie. I don't know about peep shows. What is that? Um, I think I think. Well, we we have the eight ninety jump, but jump does thinks we're not going to be doing news from there. You're only going to have be having parties run at the eight ninety. We're going to be fucking balling, <laughs> fucking balling, drunk as Gang gangsters. <laughs> it's going to be blow all over the place. Space so, blow. Uh, gaming with Michael. If you're interested in doing a, a, a newscast, you should talk to Rollin because he's just the station manager, and he could probably give you some direction, and and, and we'd be possibly more than happy to have a newscaster. Uh -huh. Yeah. Possibly, as long as you're not a dick like me, which is hard to do. Just saying. Next question. That sea light. That see like guy. What what's your opinion on people using the face tech for spying? I mean it's gonna give more nuance. 
to that particular aspect than anything you would get in something like Eve. I mean, someone who can't act and looks like a goof and trying to tell lies may be easier detected, right? I don't think the face tech is, is that high fiddlety. <laughs> no. I mean, it's so just you mean like eyebrows, you're having mouth, a conversation and with somebody, it's... and you can actually detect the subtleties in their facial movements and stuff. No, I kind of no, doubt you, it. Not, you, not they've that. already explained that that's not going to happen. It, it, it has very few points on your face that it measures. Then it takes that into the skeleton of the actor, and that actor's skeleton and is then added on top of your motion. So. No, it's not possible. The, the reason why they demoed it, uh, how they demoed it, is pretty much because that is probably only the really the basic thing what it would be useful for. What they did is they the, you can it can motion detect you talking while doing VoIP. It can, and it, in addition, you can sort of, you know, you can do big smiles, you can do other weird faces, but it's not as detailed I think as they got I've, I've actually go further than any of that. I think they will limit extremely more than you saw on this show what you can do with that FaceTime thing because they cannot have you going up and down so if you keep raising your eye up and down all the time they will maybe allow you if you do it four times you know in four seconds they will maybe allow you to do it once per four second they want to limit that time of not only uh, annoyance and immersion for others but they also want to uh, remove the 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 Pretty sure your face can't even the do band, that. The often bandwidth. Anyway. <laughs> You're the, gonna the get ban the bandwidth. Basically, that's going back and forth. So there's gonna be limitations. Uh, you saw so how you saw how the black dude looked when the 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 girl talked. You know, it was all over the place. So it will have to be reined in and uh, uh, how much you are allowed to move and what you're allowed to do because it was it it just looked crazy. It was funny. But I don't want to see that in the game, so they have to rein it in a little bit. Well, you're going to see it. Here's Matt. But here's the thing. I'm just going to point out. There's, they can't force you to use no. the face cam stuff. Nope. So. It's optional. No. Yeah. There's going to be plenty of people who just aren't going to use it anyway. And who knows if, if something weird happens to someone's face. You're like, oh, is he lying? No. Who, who knows? That might just be some sort of a ca uh, motion detection error. Uh, it means that stuff happens. Probably still happens too, even on if it goes live. It's not. It's not. It, it don't. Yeah, something like that can't ever be perfect. From Sigdrick, why does the 600A have oars? I can't like pronounce oars. 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 Like, oars. A, like a rowboat. Okay. Does it? I. Does it? What? No. I have have not. Uh, what is he talking about, that. though? I don't see any oars. Where? Well, since I don't know we what know, he's talking since about. we know she Drake, um, I think he's smoking a little bit too much weed today. Mm -hmm. Row, row, row your boat. Mm -hmm. He does fl flaps, maybe. Hmm. I don't know what he means. You see the design of that ship. That ship's going to be able to land in water. Just saying. <laughs> it's going to turn into a boat, and you're going to be able to cruise. Speed Look boat. at it right there. Yep. Right there. That fucker's going to yeah. float, Desi dude. Designed for water. Mm. Hell yeah. You get, you get water all in the engines. You have flaps that cover the, the intakes. You Or you from suck water through them and use a propulsion technique like they do in some vessels where they suck the water in the front and they... Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Just like that. Bam, bam. bam. Next. See? Next question. From Silotorn, in new Meet the Dragonfly video, we see backseat passenger on bike uh, sit sitting facing forward. I remember it was specifically stated last year that the player on the backseat only faces backward. Do you think they could have made it possible to sit in both directions now? Yes, it's yeah. possible. They can change their mind. They're CIG. They can do whatever they want. They can take all our money and never <laughs> they, make They this iterated thing. on the dragonfly. <gasps> yeah, what God, the so use is that thing if you can't shoot? Yeah. 
Yes. You see, you see them switch they're sitting both ways, so I think that's going to be. Yeah, he's on this and somebody backwards. probably sat down with them and said, you know, it's really stupid mm -hmm. if this guy can only sit facing backwards. It is. I mean, you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it, you could do it, it in breaks, PUBG. And it's it like, well. My immersion. My immersion. Like, well, I guess, yeah. Star Citizen Remember the back seat, the back seat, PUBG. Fa the back seat Damn. facing seat in PUBG. You know, he sits up on his knees PUBG, and shoots over the. Because Star Marine is not forward. good right now. Next question. There, from their MBS. When VoIP arrives, are you guys planning on streaming in-game? That's going to be one that's of our it. only uses for that. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Are, are we going to do this in-game? Yeah, but what's funny is when the female character sitting at a table. comes in and my avatar is a female <laughs> and I start talking like Batman. No, and no, you need a voice box yeah. with a female. Look at me. That's Aren't I a sexy avatar? Mm. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And oh, I can't I wait start for that. He has a he has a point. I would I would that would be actually yeah. Since the this, the face tag would be in, then you could even just we could just sit around in a in a bar or whatever, and you could visit us. But I don't know how that would work technically with no, broadcasting because that would be sit weird. In somebody's million mile high club. We're gonna chill when in the there. game is when the game is stable enough. That would probably be something that could be options. Preferably, could actually you would actually have a <laughs> real radio instance. booth with glass Whoa. and a live studio, <laughs> and then the audience at the other side. But on the mean, who, jump. who the hell has that in the game? So we can get someone to that's, build it for us. That's your light role playing, Rella. Yeah. yeah, that's light role playing. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Oh, right. From Confused. Does the way CR answered not at Gamescom when asked about Squadron 42 in his interview mean that we'll get it in or at Citizen? He said as much. It he doesn't much. mean it doesn't mean a fucking thing. Okay? Let's rein that shit in right now. It doesn't mean anything. It means Survival? what Chris Roberts meant, what he thought in his head. He gives out such vagaries right now, just like he said on the Gamescom uh, presentation. I'm not fucking telling you when. I'm never telling you when again. And everybody no, laughed. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So if, no, if, if, it... if, if you want double and tundra, you should come to the base. Listen to our shows. But not Chris Roberts. Did, did you see the interview he did with the German... Um magazine or whatever it was the video interview yeah 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 well he i'm pretty sure he said that no we're just showing 3.0 here squadron 42 at citizen con i'm pretty sure he said that i think you might have heard what the fuck you wanted to hear i didn't hear that <laughs> somebody back me up i'm pretty sure he said that i haven't even seen the interview so i have no, no comments and I, I don't know if Matt is saying, uh, Matt Sherman is saying that he thinks it's a great idea that I use a female character and uh, and do the whole, yeah, I'm such a sexy bitch thing. Look at me. I'm topless. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get away with that on oh. Twitch? Why not? What? Naked avatars? They'll never be fully naked. They, they are... Twitch is, has, like, few exceptions for games. So they have banned games with nudity in them from being streamed on Twitch, so... Are there games that have like, nudity? They, of course. Well, yeah, they've made they've made a few exceptions. Like, they allowed Conan Exiles. Conan, yeah. Um, oh, and so like, people were streaming the Pina Fire? Right. <laughs> nice. And maybe a handful of other games that are accepted from their policy of no nudity and all of that. Well, because like Rust is like that, isn't it? You run um, around naked yeah. for the first little bit until you can find some stuff. Whenever you start a new character, you're naked, I think. I don't know. I've never played Rust. It seems a little bit too me serious either. for me. Yeah. It seems pointless. Should we go to the next questions? Sure. <laughs> From Magpie, so who of you doesn't own a Cutlass, and what are you going to do in the worst? I own a Cutlass. I think I own a Cutlass, yes. I Along own a Cutlass. With the 
30 plus other ships that I have, yeah. If you don't own a Cutlass, there's something wrong with you. Just saying. Unless you just own an Aurora, then you're actually better off than everybody else. <laughs> Honestly. If you are a $45 um, backer, God bless you. Well, don't then you're buy in Tusk any... That, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good really? One. I like it. <laughs> we never ditch on the test squadron here, ever. No. Nah, they're they're all right. Yeah. They're all right. <laughs> Except for Meyer. You're... He's been on no. the show. He's he's eh. no, he's great. Yeah. Brown, do you own a Cutlass? No. Or did you switch it? Switch it for a Buccaneer? No, neither. I have a Herald. So. He he. He only owns the fancy shit. Yeah, I'd be totally <laughs> onto the, all the orange and stuff if, if I could afford it. That's why I just get it in game. Second part of the question: What will you be doing in the verse? Everything. Trying not to die. Pretty much. Too trying many trying times. Not to die. Yeah, trying not to die too. Waiting many times. for AOTW to come storm the castle. Yeah, well, that's only going to yes. be temporary. They just want to do that as a test. Yeah. So when A to W comes, I just hope the Claymores are ready and in the game. N uh, Nellorath because... loves us, man. <laughs> Come on. Okay, and no, he's, gonna be... it doesn't matter if he loves me or not. He's going to still he... taste the Claymores. Yeah, well, I agree. And they, they were talking. <laughs> in 3.0, in 3.0, depending on how many people they're allowing to get in an instance, that's going to be a good test bed for um, base infiltration, base defense, planetary defense, and all that stuff. Because those guys are fucking crazy, dude. If you don't know who Angels of the Warp are or, or haven't seen these guys or played with these guys, they are freaking nutty good. Like stupid nutty good shooters. It's just, it's embarrassing. So it makes me feel like such mm -hmm. a scrub and then I leave a game with them and I go into a public match and I just dominate but I get in a game with them again and I'm like Owen oh, fucking 30 well not that low but still it's just sick they're sick I think another thing you need to do when the verse go live and stay the, stay the fuck away from uh, Operation Pitchfork it's gonna be just a uh, no. as long as they do it's a it nice before the last just... server wipe but it'll be funny It'll be funny to, to, to It'll see be the, something to watch. the chaos. It, but if you think about it, right, if they get their server integration, you know, their server mesh flushed out properly, good right? Testing, like right? we've seen with Dual Universe. That's a really that good is a test really for good that. Test. Yeah. Because, because there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of people that even though they're not in the... Um, is that why they're marketing Operation Pitchfork Org? Yeah, yeah. It just and and to... it's going to be a great test platform to see if you could just melt a server with just having all these ships fucking trying to invade Vandal space. And we might never make it. There might not be fuel to get that far. We don't even know. <laughs> but we'll run out of fuel somewhere and we'll all just vent ourselves and die. I just hope they uh, leave a good sized portion of skeleton ships in the uh, newly viped server when we come back from Operation Pitchfork so we can go scavenge it. MVS, man, OPPF is a big fucking deal. No joke. It's it's a big deal. If if it can actually be pulled off in engine, it's going to be insane. And I'm going. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm going to take yeah. my most expensive ship, too. The 890 jump. <laughs> I'm going to go fight the Van Doolen style. <laughs> Next Let's question. Do it. I'm down. Yeah, Relum, you oh, don't want to yeah. be there in your fucking news van covering Get that the Mako shit. out there. I got a 500 shit. times zoom lens that can stay the hell away from it far away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't want to be near that shit. Wuss. <laughs> It'll be great. No, that's, that's actually funny. If I'm recording about what you want to do in a verse, uh, I do like and I hope that if CIG will tend to both play styles as for people that want to occasionally do something alone and people that want to play together i i do feel like that is something that i might do occasionally as well like i don't always want or might not always have people around to help me and even if i do sometimes i just want to go do stuff on my own and uh, that that'll probably most likely is how we know it will be possible as well 
right? And that that's pretty much how I feel that's how I what I would be interested in as well. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to seeing some of the gameplay that's you know, when you log on and you just want to have some solitary time just playing the game. Let's call it grinding. Grinding cash. I don't mind grinding, but you don't actually. Want to... Sometimes. <laughs> but you don't want to do it with somebody else because fuck everybody else. Because people are annoying and they suck. <laughs> Sometimes they're really annoying. I agree. So, from Torhagen, do you guys think turrets will get some kind of enhancement software? Yes. Yeah, it's been stated as such. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah, and I think they're going to add aim assist. I think I heard something about aim and, assist and, for and man and turrets gyro, as well. And, Gyroscopic and, shit, yeah. Yeah, so your turret will stay wherever. If you're, if you're looking, let's say, at 30 degrees and the ship turns, your turret will stay on target wherever you're looking. As long as it doesn't, you know, for you, your ship blocks the view, basically. That's the only time it will uh, turn out of that. And that's the most annoying thing right now about turreting is the pilots don't understand that there's people in the turret and they need to kind of try to keep their target at a certain angle of, of attack. <clears throat> so they just get crazy like they're flying a single-seater fighter and they're doing loops and shit. And there's no way to fucking shoot training, anything yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, like I said, it's a whole new level of team play. Mm -hmm. yep. And those of you who have constellations that don't buy into team play, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> let's see here from magpie what do you guys think of the ramp on the address it was huge best weapon in the game right now it, OP. Yeah, it was huge it was totally op but, the question uh, I, I was surprised that it had such a big ramp the question really is what do you guys think about the fucking gladius is landing in the idris in space Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. was pretty epic. You see, it, the, yeah. the front side is the, is the launch bay, the back side is the slow entry bay. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, the whole nose went like that, and they could just yep. go off. Yeah, really quick. As long but, as, well, that's, as long that's, as that's the way aspect. of nature, right? You take yeah. it in the yeah. rear and you let it go out the front. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> That's nature. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, the bell starts to work with that, though. But uh, one Will thing there... I like, though. Go ahead. Will there be an automated landing system for that? I hope not. I hope it requires a ridiculous yeah. amount of skill on all levels. The Idris pilot has to be well aware, just like an aircraft carrier, man. You need He's to practice gonna have, that shit. He's probably going to have need cameras on board and or his birds... You know his support crafts. You know guiding him in oh. to the proper landing site. But but yeah, another thing possible. about that, I mean, communicate with if 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 uh, if the Idris has a has an auto landing computer system that yeah. communicates with the ship how it can land. But that would need to be you would need to Guide. be out of combat and pretty much safe because you can't really. I don't think you would be able to do that while you're moving on much. I don't know. Yeah. Well, in 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 the lore of the universe, right? Twenty nine forty seven is where we're at right now. I would I would guarantee that in by twenty nine forty seven, humanity is going to have the ability to remote land anything. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we already do. Yeah. So the thing the thing, the thing is that the, the ramp gives the, that big ass ramp on the edge just gives a whole another meaning to landing craft. Hell yeah, that's a boarding fucking ship. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like a planetary infil infiltration ship. You drop that six, sucker down. Six, six, six different addresses with the largest vehicle you can imagine available in game. Well, wait till what's his nuts gets the tank he was talking about yesterday. What the hell was that tank? He was some tank they're talking. They want a uh, actual armored tank vehicle. The the or, community is uh, clamoring uh, for that. Uh, over uh, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably not going to be a tank in the game, but it's probably going to be a heavier IFVs, you know, infantry fighting vehicles and or... Take uh, out Humvees with rocket launchers on them. Why not? Yeah. yeah. So I don't think tanks is going to be the first thing. They might be tanks eventually, but I think uh, 
the best thing we can hope for realistically is APCs and IFVs with m much more powerful weapons and anti-aircraft weapons on. Hey, I wonder this, right? If Test Squadron has all the Aurors to block out the sun, if they have an Idris, will they fill that Idris with Grey Cats and then take those Grey Cats out and go infiltrate the ground on Grey Cats? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be an awesome sight to I see, I would love right? to see Just that, hundreds yeah. of little Grey Cats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, that would be insane. There's a good lag test. If you a lot of targets. Grey Cat out of the fucking hangar. A lot of targets. Yeah, try to shoot yeah. those from the air when they're just scattering all over the place like <laughs> little fucking cockroaches running all over the place. So, the reason from Magpie. Um, oh, you're next. But, yeah, we're hot, eh, No, it wasn't the ask question, question answered. Like, like, the reason the ramp is so big is just because the ship is big and to be able to actually land it. And you're gonna bet that people want to move stuff out from the ship in, onto the ground, but because that thing is so got the thing is so freaking high, the landing gear is pretty high, because the ship is big and heavy. You need a very high ramp, steep angle. Now you can get a very short uh, ramp with a very steep angle, or you can get a long ramp with a not so steep angle. Mm. Well, that's something they said they had problems with when they were developing outposts and shit was the angle of the the stairwells and the ramps and stuff. So the mm. same theory mm. applies to the ships. Of course. You know, if, mm. if the Especially angle the landing is like really this, high. you just make it a little longer with retractable and change the angle to about 30 degrees from 45 yeah. degrees and then shit can actually get up it. Well, you have to right. count because for the landing springs as well. Because physics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, what if it had I, I, hydraulics, man? Pshh like the vanguard I, I don't really want to say it because it's going to sound racist but i'm from detroit anyway but le, the mexican dudes that build cars in detroit low they riders. love the the low they yeah, they ride up really high and when they stop yep. they go all the way down yep. the ground slam right and they go bam and then the ramp only has to be like that big right <laughs> well i mean because you gotta you gotta think about some other what do you have sort of logical there? things you can't you can't load cargo in to a ramp that's like this. You can't do it. That's not going to work. Well, it's either a so, ramp or an elevator. Like on like the Kanye. The Idris is the largest cargo carrier confirmed. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you want to move some cargo and make some money and be protected, you do it in an Idris. Fuck the Holly. <laughs> yeah, internal waste saver too. So, from Magpie, are you guys going to do your show within the game if possible? I think we already answered this. We answered that, yeah. 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 So from low snap, is it going to be No Man's Sky all over again? <sighs> yeah, but even No Man's Sky, do, 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 they do, are improving. The 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 problem, the mistake they made is launching early and calling it a finished game, while in fact it was just a freaking, pretty much it was just a freaking alpha with half the features that they promised in it. Not even well, you got to think. Yes. Part of the reason why you don't have Star Citizen, uh, a, a proper game, in your hands at this point in time is because these uh, developers all come from other game companies and they know the shortcomings of games and they're watching other games yep. come out, like Mass Effect Andromeda that was broke as fuck mm -hmm. when it launched and was still a fun game, but it was broke. You know, uh, No Man's Sky is a really good example. It was broke when it launched. So, you know, Assuming that CIG doesn't run out of money, which is if you guys buy ships, it won't. So just buy some more ships. Um, it'll be fine. Well, the, that is the thing, though, with No Man's Sky. What you can learn from is that you have to really carefully and really th th think about when you actually brand the game as launched and when you don't. Because the most of the review institutes as well... Which, which for some companies even accounts to if the the developers get get paid for some companies they do that like they 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 go off the actual launch reviews to 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 pay the bonuses to their employees because reviews are made at launch so if you call something a launched finished game and it's crap like no man's sky you're gonna get really bad reviews mm-hmm that's a really careful decision they have they will have to make like what is live finished 1.0 
and drop all the alpha beta tags. That's a really careful decision. Yeah. Last question. No. Was there? I think there's more. So, uh, from Jeff Craig, what planetary features do you think are below in the 600i in that top down shot? I'm linking it now. That one. Yeah, I was. I got it. I can't head. really tell. I mean, it. It looks like it could be. It looks like some kind of technology. But I don't know that what else actually, is there. It's Star motion that look like something? Optimus Prime. It looks like Optimus Prime. I mean, it's a planet. Wait, yeah, but it looks like that, Optimus Prime. Isn't it a jump right point? There. It's a transformer. No, isn't that like the internals of a jump point? It very well could be. Like the, uh, the warp I'm, I'm stuff. I'm, I don't know. It's just a guess. I don't know. I'm saying right now it isn't shit. No. It's <laughs> it was an artist's interpretation of something that he thought was cool. Yeah. It may, it may very well be. That's my way of saying, Jeff, that I don't fucking know. Ma, is that a question from Panzer? Yeah. Was in so pa Panzer says, uh, or asks, I'm new to the game. My daughter got me the Reliant Frigate. <laughs> Frigate. <laughs> Frigate. In the... Yeah. Is there a tutoring video because I play Mech Warriors and my daughter wants me to play something different? I mean a tutorial flight training thing? No. Unfortunately they no. they had one. But at you one know point, what there is? They removed it. Yeah, there is us. a lot of YouTube videos out there that yeah, shows you how but to you do it. You know what's even better than that is if you find the right community and, and I'm not gonna community. say which community it is, but if you find <laughs> the right community, they have trainers that will train you. They will take time out of their day and hang out with you in free flight and explain all the basics of flight. And if you want to become an advanced combat pilot, they can do that too because they're fucking really good. And that's not just one org. That's all over the place. Now, obviously, there are some communities that are exclusive that won't take you unless you're good. But, you know, there are, there are definitely a few communities out there that will help new players learn how to do Star Marine or learn how to do flying at its from its most basic form to its most advanced combat so pretty they're much out at there. this point you could i mean if you're resource resourceful to find out yourself there's a free flight mode that you can just try out and do stuff with endless endless lives it doesn't matter so you can break your ship you can try to control it that is a good way of just doing it too like and, unless and you the really best way find to do it, it is is don't use keyboard and mouse. Buy two joysticks right now. T sixteen hundreds will cost you about <laughs> seventy bucks, and you just fly like a like a butterfly. Fly like no. a butterfly. No, keyboard and mouse. Just, just, sorry, it's good enough. Keyboard and mouse will work. No, yep. no. You know what? It's actually going to be easier for the pilots that learn how to fly keyboard and mouse because the transition to ground mm -hmm. is going to be seamless. You don't have to move your hands. Yep. yep. So. For the for dumbasses like me that are using dual sticks, you're you're constantly swapping back and forth. You can't always have both hands on the sticks because some you don't have enough key binds to not use right. the keyboard in tandem with the dual joysticks unless you're using voice attack, which is an absolute godsend, I would say. And that with head tracking. Dual sticks, voice attack and head tracking as a pilot, that's all you need. I will really like the head tracking if it's going to work with a normal webcam. I will. That will be pretty cool. Well, yeah, yeah. It's going to. And, and somebody said earlier, I bet track IR is pretty pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't remember who said that. That's what that, I said. But... I'm like, well, rip track IR. Who needs that shit now? Well, not everybody's playing Star Citizen. So track IR goes across all kinds of platforms. It's good for squad. It's good for Arma. It's good for all kinds of games. Yeah, but technically, Anything I think there's, that there's tools out there where you can pretty much do the same thing with a normal webcam and if you then had the RSI webcam or a similarly quality one using that tool it could still face track you and do the exact same thing probably in other games as well so yeah, track AR, have track, standalone track AR applications. You will allow you track AR will allow you to do more 
right now i think then face the face system will uh, eventually it will probably be similar but um i think you will be able for instance to turn your head further because you have led lights that it can read well eventually your facial feature will not be you saw how small then the gap was where you can turn your face rigs it really so, depends though Tio, if they allow you to set a custom curve in it like they do in track ir because that's the yeah. best part about track ir is you can get really fucking granular with the way that you set it up so mm -hmm. if you turn your head this far technically you could have a 90 degree viewing angle or you could set it up to have your head turn this far so mm -hmm. You could set it up to, if you turn your head a little, it just moves a little. And the more you turn your head, the faster it sweeps. It's it's the the software behind track IR is the magic in that thing, not the actual uh, head tracking portion of it. For anybody who doubts it, this is a mount for my light for track IR. So it's, it's being used frequently. Um, the thing is about track IR is very sensitive on its lighting. And that's one of the good thing about um, the new camera system, the new technology they're showing. Is it's near dark, readable, well, so that I can sit here in, in, in dark. In, yeah, but well, well the capabilities. Yeah, yeah. I don't say they would use it if it. And it, that technology exists today, so it's it's not an issue at all. Uh, they can have higher lights there, and they can be, oh, yeah, be using yeah. reading that this, at the same time as they read normal light. So it, it, it's it's not an issue f f for that anymore, and uh, it will allow me to sit. And um, although with a limited range compared to track IR, I will have sixty frames all the time. It will be like having precision mode every time, all the time. I don't have to worry about if am I close enough. Does the light show up or does it not show up? Because track AR is fidgy, to say the say the least. Especially if you're not, you know, really up in the camera and at this distance, you know, it starts to become. Um, well, because we all know you it, like to like lay down with your feet up and shit when you're gaming. It's going to complicate things for you. Yeah, so I have a big 55 inch screen in front of me, so I really don't want the camera here. I want it in front of me. So it's, I have built a mount for track AR that is in front of me just above where the TV edge on the 55 inches. And that's why I want to mount it in the, uh, the new uh, RSI camera face rig system when it comes because I don't have lights on except for you know this tiny LED light. That's all the light except for the screens I have around me in my gaming setup. I don't need yeah. anything anymore. And Harold Sparhawk is absolutely correct. The track IR Pro clip, this guy. Oh, it's IR, so. This guy right there works in the yep. dark, 100% dark. So you don't even have to sweat it. But, you know. And the, pro the, the problem is, again, the distance. Yes. And in low light. It's supposed light, to be it's about yeah. th three feet or one meter ish. Is optimum, I think, is what I read. Yeah, I think it's a little bit closer than that. Um, I, I, I have lay down in my I flight have, seat and use it. Yeah, <laughs> all drunk and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I get I get to Are use it at at yeah I get to use track IR at uh, low level. You know, you have uh, uh, high frame and low frame. I you get to use it at low frames. Oh, off topic. I like it. June, Julie. I like it. That's a great in-game name. Yeah. No, that's they actually. <laughs> you don't. I don't think. No, the, the that's his alternate name in PUBG when he uses the voice box. Right. When yeah. he talks it's like Julie. a girl, then it's when he, when he does like a female voice. He's like oh, Julie. Hi guys. No I'll go control. military base. Yay. <laughs> Actually, it was funny as shit. I watched him playing PUBG, it was two or three weeks ago, and he got a, an actual girl in-game who thought he was a girl. He was and a they, girl. Yeah, she yeah. was, like, following him around trying to talk to him. Oh, my God, it's not a girl. The voice funny. changer shit's awesome. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, Send douchebag, how come we aren't playing PUBG, Jay? Yeah. What's the deal? 
You don't call, you don't write, you're busy with CIG and Citizen Con and shit. You don't even come play games with us. Yeah. I think it's Gamescom, but, you know. I think it's time we leave anyway. Oh, there was one thing that I wanted to say regarding that last conversation, which was a very interesting point that was made on the Star Citizen, one of the Star Citizen Facebook groups anyway, was uh, how is facial tracking uh gonna work with the guys that absolutely have to use vr and the answer i think is it won't it won't <laughs> it won't sorry so, you... now aren't there <laughs> like aren't there like cams that have our our vr that have cams that can look at your face or does that not or do they have cams that can look at the real world and you could switch back and forth I thought I something. Yeah, like maybe that. that's the reason. Yeah, um, I. So, I just have in my head like there if they were gonna make some kind of crazy VR helmet that could somehow rig. see how your face was moving, you know. Talk, talking about face rig, Jay Lee. He gave this, me a six hundred eye to protect me from these chats. <laughs> so be cool. <laughs> He Jay Lee, this is money. more than a request. With face rig, we now have to have cigars, big ass cigars in the game, that you can just have yeah. something in the mouth and take in and out. It has to be in there. That, you know, you know, Tio, that gonna opens be sitting up there the and... door for all kinds of things that could be going in or out of. <laughs> Anything that area? Uh, you, I don't. Yeah, All right, I don't we're know done. That. that that can be restricted by the game developers. Oh, but dong removal technology. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my lord! Yeah, <laughs> th we're definitely going downhill now. We're now we're gonna go and just. Um, I actually have. Uh, let's see. I mean, I wanted to say some things. Let's see. I think am I gonna go th thoughts out to Clifford? Meek, aka Miku, our, our our friend. I think he is. It's like his his wife was admitted to the hospital. They had to go to the emergency room, but they're in like where does he live again? Houston area, something like that. It's it's, it's at least it's the east he, coast. He's, so, and, so pretty much he's, he's out in the middle of the sticks. Yeah, so. so he's he's pretty much the, the the bad thing about that. It, it added to that he's in the middle of a flood right now. So I don't think even he can even leave the hospital. Uh, you can check his Twitter for those updates. He actually does update it. And, uh, you know, just send him love. His wife will be okay, though. I, yeah, I talked to him. And he, sure uh, we love Clifford. He's an awesome dude. And I think, uh, like, Rico sent me a look thing. At, look at what uh, CIG Sherman says. What does this he say? needs to get on the base. Waping, smoking, eating, drinking, whatever stupid faces incoming. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, if you put vaping in the game, you know how triggered half the. I get on and I'm like just doing my thing, and they're like, "Vape Nation." Okay, and the other thing uh, Rico sent me is that <clears throat> I think recently we were plugged on Citizen TV, a French Star Citizen community uh, webcast thingy. And uh, it got us a lot of uh, good. They they was really nice of them. So we're gonna just plug them back. It is like a, a French, uh, it's exclusively French, a uh, uh, bunch of people doing uh, TV like things. Uh, on uh, I actually haven't checked it out that much, but uh, it sounds so kind of nice. And I and they have recently been uh, we've been working together with them because they wanted like a shoutcast thing, a radio, but they didn't know how and. We help them out, and so they're hosted on. They hosted that part of their shoutcast on our server as well. So those are the nice guys from uh, French Citizen TV. So, so if you're unfortunate or not, to speak if you French. can speak French, then that's a good place. Yeah. Well, Pegasus will translate everything one day. <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure Canadians can. Uh, yeah. You see what I've been saying this whole time, though. You know, like this this fucking community is just ridiculous. You know, there's there's no apps, there's no benefit per se in the capitalistic sense for the base radio to help anybody, honestly. But we do constantly, mm -hmm. and uh, there's tons of 
idiots like us in the community, not just on the base, not, you know, all over, all over the place, just helping people. It's really cool. This is, this is the best damn space sim I mean, community, you, gaming community ever, period. It is. And you've even got people from CIG doing stuff with the community. Jay Lee did the poster for ZerzCon. And on his own time, yeah. you know? He didn't have nothing is... else to do. Look at how much time <laughs> playing look at how much time he put into that goddamn animation at the beginning of his stream when he's like, You Which don't know what happened to awesome, Jay Lee. Oh, 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 Jay Lee. No, his dead. his intro that he did, the, the Mega Man crazy. X like <laughs> intro is fucking awesome. I love it. I want one. I will pay you money for that, Jay Lee. <laughs> give us give us the, the voice changers for one. We need that. From him yeah we need the oh, good boy. ones the vsts yeah, the real good ones the vsts yeah <laughs> hey jay lee don't give them shit no, i'm you telling like you don't like give it. them shit I wasn't like make it but... making the intro took him like two weeks and i don't doubt it <laughs> i bet it did it takes him like yeah, six he's months fucking to draw awesome. a fucking picture he said that yeah <laughs> oh damn <laughs> Are we done now? Yes, yeah, it's we're done. just not good enough. Check Shots us, fired. Check out the base on all the freaking media that we have. We have a Discord channel, uh, the Discord server, especially that. So if you want to hang out with us while we're not live or anything on Twitch, then you can still find us in Discord. Uh, follow our Twitter. Wait, anything. we're always live on Twitch, this, though. Well, no, yeah, we but are. not us. I mean, like me. It's something. The channel. The channel is always live. Love you, baby. Always exists. And, and um, we are now officially legit on YouTube. We have our actual we have our custom URL, yeah. URL now, so we are YouTube, the base, the base radio, radio on YouTube, which we yep. pretty much uh, uh, hosts these videos right now. Like the shows that this this show, the SCP Roundtable, will be on that YouTube channel after a couple of days, and uh, well, possibly in the future some more. We don't know, but for for now, it's just this show. Uh, so yeah, with that I think we can uh, go. Yeah, we've said everything. Thank you all for listening. I think we've said too Thank much. Thank you for the questions. Wonderful questions. As wonderful usual. Stuff. As usual. And uh, we'll be back next week. Another round table, as always, every Sunday here on the base. On the, this would be a beautiful channel. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, you guys See rock. See ya. <laughs>